All right. I was forced to be the opening act today because you're the social one, you go first. So here we go. Today I'd like to talk to you all about something I've been drawn to since far back as I can remember. And that is, since I was 10 years old, I wanted to destigmatize mental health issues and help make mental health care affordable and accessible to everyone. So I realized that two of my closest friends named Zach and Ethan both had autism. I went to school with Ethan and played hockey with Zach. When I was with them, sometimes we got along and played together really well. Other times, they had difficulty looking at me, looking at me in the eye and kind of just spaced out into their own little worlds. So as a kid, this would sometimes hurt my feelings because I knew I didn't do anything wrong, but they were still kind of avoiding me. So over the next couple of years, I had discussions with my family about the reactions when my friends shut me out. I wanted to understand why they were doing what they were doing what, and what went on inside their heads. So in about seventh grade, I began developing a goal to support people with mental health issues. This initially took the form of a capstone project, which was an independent research project where I spent an entire school year learning about mental health issues and how they affected teenagers. At the end of seventh grade, I presented my findings as like a 20 minute oral presentation and like the presentation ugh, paper to my teachers, classmates, and their families. My goal in life developed over time to change the way that mental health concerns are viewed and treated. So mental health has always been important to me. So even though I'm neurotypical, meaning I don't have any mental health issues myself, it's still one of the most important things in my life. So a lot of people in my life have autism, depression, anxiety, and I wanted to be able to take care of them. So I wrote a paper, a thesis paper on how mental illness affected teenagers. And this eventually led into my idea to create an application on how to diagnose and treat mental illnesses. Uh, in high school, I took courses in psychology and computer science, learned to code in Java, and over the summer I took a course on Python so that I could learn a more coding-based language for artificial intelligences. Using AI, I wanted to make a software program that can diagnose and prescribe treatments to people with mental health illnesses and work with a trained professional. The app would work by organizing data and collecting like symptoms, tracking them, check, check, checking how meds are working, and then just being able to work with a psychiatrist to evaluate and help figure out how to make the best path forward for patients. <coughs> uh, just like I have refined my, this idea over time, I've also grown a lot. And as such, there are plenty of people who have helped me along this journey. First, I'd like to thank all of my teachers who have helped me further my pursuit of knowledge. And special shout outs go to Mr. Adam, who was my middle school teacher who helped get all of this started. He helped me figure out how to go about the capstone presentation process and figuring out how to write a research paper like that. And <coughs> just got me going. Next to Mr. Kiston for getting me into computer science and helping me break my horrible habit of just jumping right into projects and not thinking ahead of time. I've still learned that lesson to this day, working on it. <laughs> and to Mr. Spencer for helping me continue work-life balance and letting us use your room as a lounge. Just work-life balance, best of both worlds. Next, to my friends who helped me just be the best version of myself that I can be, to practice empathy, social behavior, and just being an all around good person. Finally, my parents, who have supported me and helped me grow and gave me a dry British sarcastic sense of humor. <laughs> In actuality, they taught me how to grow, to be myself, and if I listed all the things that they have given to me, that we'd be here for the entire time. So thank you all for listening to my ramblings, hopes, and dreams. 